let's say hello to tonight's guests. She's the queen of the TV drama here to talk about the new series of Vigil. Yeah, and he's the guest with the golden ticket as he's starring in Wonka, the must-see movie this Christmas. Please welcome Saran Jones and Pat and Joseph. <laughs> Saran, we're also waiting for your co-star in the new series of Vigil, Do Gray Scott, stuck in traffic at the minute, but on his way. Yeah. Uh, but Patterson, you were actually in series one with Saran. Yes. So how did you find submarine life? Oh, as you know, uh, initially I thought it was going to be really cramped, but I was thinking of those World War II submarines. It was massive, actually, wasn't it? It was huge. Bigger than I'd ever imagined. Yeah. Um, and then um, it was just, it was a fun shoot, especially when we got, got back, finally you could meet people because that it was lockdown time, we had to stop for a bit. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it was good. I mean, I didn't understand anything I said. <laughs> I you mean, had a lot of jargon. I had a lot of jargon, <laughs> and the first three days, I couldn't learn any lines because I didn't know what I was talking about. The full, full rise on the four of the after planes, the full rise on the four planes. What, what am I saying? How, how do you remember that then? Like, genuinely? Like... Literally, just like by rote. And then gradually, the, our advisor began to explain what was, what was happening. Oh. By rote. <laughs> so you see, so episode one, I'm just saying stuff. And you then I get a bit more. Charge. Do you know what I'm saying? Do a bit of a posh voice, <laughs> yeah. and with authority, you can get away with anything. And then eventually, I understood right. what was going on. I like the idea that you kind of learned it with the tune rather than the words, oh, and the words came please. later. Sometimes yeah. that's the way to do it, right? <laughs> mm. uh, well, listen, we've got a lot to talk about. Vigil and one career. Do Grey Scott, you've made it. Welcome, Happy St Andrews Day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll catch up with you very shortly. Yeah. Time now to talk about the return of one of the most watched dramas of recent years, attracting 13 million viewers it's vigil now saran the first series the submarine the location of the mystery was called vigil so presumably mm. when that all came to an end and was concluded you must have thought well this is never coming back yeah of course <laughs> and i was like how could you top that anyway because it was just like so specific and then um they said oh no we're going to do something but it would be in the air so i read the script and uh, the scottish um Police motto is Sempro Vigil. Sempro, it, it's like forever vigilant. Yeah. So actually, it doesn't rest on the submarine anyway. The vigil part, which is is good, helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, so catch us up then. Set the scene for us. Where do we find DCI Amy Silver? The beginning of series two. Um, so she is with uh, her partner. Kirsten, played by the brilliant Rose Leslie, oh. and they are very much together now, and they are pregnant because one of us was pregnant in real life, so also helpful. Um, and so Rose, oh, Rose was, I think she worked up to seven months pregnant, and she did a lot of action stuff. And um, I am called in by the Ministry of Defence because of my report on Vigil, and um, then I meet this guy, and um, there's been a disaster at an airbase with some drones, but I shouldn't call Terrible. them drones, should I? No, the I get told off. Sorry. Yes. R-Plus. <clears throat> I mean, yes. so, so Dugray, how do, you, how do you fit into to all of this? I play Air Vice Marshal Granger, who's uh, very patriotic and works with the Ministry of Defence. He works with the British Air Force. We call it the British Air Force in, in, in Vigil. Mm. And he is responsible for selling weapons to the Middle East, so not controversial at all. No. Um, <laughs> And uh, something goes wrong with one of the tests, and so I guess what the, 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 the object of the series is to find out what happened and why it happened. And uh, this wonderful uh, actress comes in and investigates, and, uh, and I'm, I'm one of, the, obviously, the main sort of uh, people from the, the British Air Force perspective. Yeah. And so we go kind of head to head because I'm very bloody-minded and very sort of uh, determined and... And, 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 and as is Saran's character, and so we kind of, we, we go at it for six she, episodes. She's also really annoying, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's always get, sticking her nose in uh, where she, it doesn't belong. Yeah, she's very determined. <laughs> she never gives up. And, and we're uh, talking about Amy now. Yeah. We're not talking about Saran. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about Saran, actually. <laughs> well, look, let, let's take a look. At the moment, uh, the, the two of you go head-to-head -head <laughs> over an investigation. I'm going to need to formally interview the pilots. Could you arrange for Nicole Lawson? to come in tomorrow? Uh, she's been flown back to Wujian. I expressly asked that all of your personnel be available for interview. Well, we assumed that changed with Chapman. It didn't. The Joint Squadron are wanted operationally. Colonel Balali wanted to fly his people back, so we took care of that. I thought it was the least that we could do. And it didn't occur to you to discuss that with me? We're discussing it now. Oh! oh. 
he's testy, isn't he? Yeah, he's very <laughs> nice. Testy. Now, that is what you call a tense working relationship. Mm. Yeah, very <laughs> intense. It is very so It's very complex. The whole subject was uh, was complex because you have the police and you have the Ministry of Defence, you have MI6, you have MI5 and you have the British Air Force. So everyone has an interest in this. And uh, But we laughed an awful lot on set, didn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. Given the subject matter, I mean, I, I think we giggled... <laughs> A lot. Too much, maybe. Out. She makes me laugh. She's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, you know, the chemistry is, is absolutely brilliant between the two of you in this show. Now, Saran, apparently, while Dugo was busy working very hard in the Scottish Isles on the show, you were actually on a sun lounger in Morocco for part of the shoot? <laughs> Who told, told you that? I you. told him that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Half a day, me and Romola, who is in the show, who's brilliant, Romola Gary. Brilliant, yeah. Um, she, uh, so she has two children as well, and we had half a day. And the first <laughs> hotel that was booked, the swimming pool was shut. So the second hotel in Rabat, there was a swimming pool, so we had half a day on a lounger oh. while someone was working hard. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean... To, to mums who were off work, that is the equivalent of six weeks, though. Right? Yeah. <coughs> okay, oh, that's fair enough. Sweet. Did you yeah. demand a better hotel, then? Is that what happened? No, we were at different locations. <laughs> Thank you, Dougray. And the banter continues. Yeah, I mean, Dougray, Dougray, you know, Morocco aside, you know, obviously yeah. that's a, a testing subject. Um, you, you guys, you know, you formed a, a great relationship as well on the show. And you, is, am I right in thinking you both got production companies and you want to yeah. join together and you might be working on something special? What can you tell us? Oh, well, I'll let Saran tell you about that. Well, we've already had a Zoom, haven't we? We had a Zoom, <laughs> yes. We had a Zoom um, and we talked so about it. It was marvellous. Our partners are... So, yeah, we're coming together and we wanted to do something that reflected our more flamboyant and fun side because yeah. that's what we kind of found that we had. So we're, we are working on something, but we're just not allowed to say what at the moment. Oh, oh very Flamboyant good. and fun, two of my favourite adjectives. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, well, thank you both very much. You're going to be staying with us. Series two of Vigil starts on Sunday, the 10th of December at 9pm on BBC One with the first three episodes landing on iPlayer that day. Yeah, and you can watch Saran and Patterson on series, in series one on iPlayer right now.